All right, another hillbilly science test. We were noticing a whole lot of blast coming out of this muzzle brake. We're noticing a, obviously the barrel cylinder gap here shoots out a little jet of uh, flame and gases. That's why you never ever put your hand over any revolver while you're shooting it. So what we're going to do though is we're going to set some lightweight aluminum cans next to the barrel cylinder gap and another one up here at the muzzle so that when OG shoots this thing we're probably going to lose the cans off the table but we're going to see what kind of damage those two blasts do. Hey, let's funky dance! Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Wow! Those things were gone! Here we go. Wow! The 460 Smith & Wesson is the highest velocity revolver in the world. To drive that bullet at over 2400 feet per second, it takes a lot of pressure. The barrel pressure of this is around 65,000 psi. Even though the cylinder gap is quite small, a substantial amount of gases and lead fragments also come blasting out the side. So you, when someone's shooting a gun like this, you don't want to be standing directly next to the gun. So this is the one that was next to the cylinder. That shows you all of the powder that's blasting out of that cylinder. A good reason, very good reason not to put your hand anywhere near that New. thing. And these things tore open faster than a Mississippi Walmart. They were off this table, boom, and out there in the dirt. Would they land uh, 15, 20 feet away? Yeah. And then here's the one that was up by the muzzle, by the muzzle brake. Crumpled the dang thing and tore it. And you can see little tiny speckling there from the unburned powder that's blasting out. Another reason why you always wear eyes and ears, folks, when you're shooting. That stuff flies back in your eyes, you got problems. Look at this, almost wanted to separate the Take the, the lid off too, yeah. wow, look at that. That's amazing. Yeah, I, I was really curious. I've never seen anyone use a can like that before. I'm sure someone has, but. It's pretty cool. Hey, that's, I wanna thank our sponsor, EmptyAluminumCan.com for, uh, <laughs> for funding this. And you know there's gonna be a site out there, right kids? <laughs> that's right. Somebody will put a link to EmptyAluminumCan.com. Yes which will be a hobo website where you can donate. <laughs> I'm ready. Here we go. Wow. Here we go. Wow. I want to take this time to thank our Patreon supporters. We currently have 300 supporters, and you guys are awesome. And you guys are our sponsors. We don't get any swinging deals on sponsorships or anything like that. Now, I'm sure you've heard other channels talking about demonetization and um, limited and no ads on their videos um, this has become a critical problem not just for my channel but for pretty much every channel that tries to make a living on YouTube from the reports I'm looking at the problem is there's not enough ads not enough advertisers to be able to put an ad on every single video we're only seeing ads on maybe 20 percent of the video views 25% on a good day and that is just killing us but support us if you can or support other channels that need your help thanks for watching